Good day, my friend. Nice to see you today. Today I'm intending to take you into a world of an average of a spiritual journey and I have in my hand uh, a very one of the most famous novel uh, written by Arman Hesse. Uh, this novel, the name of this novel is Siddhartha by Herman Hesse, a German writer. It is a poetical novel. The name of this novel is Siddhartha. As all of you know, that's uh, the name, the real name of the Gautama Buddha was Siddhartha. So this is not the story of that Holy Buddha, the famous Holy Buddha, but this resembles, it is a symbolic novel which is uh, about the, the life of another Siddhartha, a Brahmin son uh, who uh, had started the journey, a spiritual journey for the meaning uh, and search of ultimate answer of life of the enigmatic life, the meaning of enigmatic life in this earth. Siddhartha was a handsome and respected son of a Brahman, lives with his father in ancient India. Everyone in the village expects Siddhartha to be a successful Brahman like his father. Siddhartha enjoys a near idyllic existence with his best friend Govinda, but he is secretly dissatisfied he performs all the rituals of the religion and he does what religion says should bring him happiness and peace. Nevertheless, he feels something is missing. His father and the other elders have still not achieved enlightenment and he feels that staying with them will not settle the questions as about the nature of his existence. Siddhartha believes his father has already passed on all the wisdom their community has to offer, but he longs for something more. One day, a group of wandering ascetics, a wandering ascetics as we call it, sadhus in called Samanas, passes through town. They are starved and almost naked and have come to beg for food. They believe enlightenment could be reached through asceticism, a rejection of body and physical desire. The path the Samanas preach is quite different from is the one Siddhartha has been taught. And he believes it may be provide some of the answer he is looking for. He decided to follow this new path. Siddhartha father does not want him to join the Samanas. Now here we see very, the very near resemblance with the life, the story of this Siddhartha of Herman Hesse and uh, uh, the story of Gautama Buddha, the Enlightenment. So, this father does not want him to join the Samanas, but he cannot dissuade Siddhartha. Govinda also wants to find the path, Govinda, the friend of Siddhartha, to enlightenment. And he joins Siddhartha in this journey, spiritual journey, search for the truth and ultimate reality. Siddhartha just quickly to the ways of Samanas because of the patience and discipline he learns in the Brahman petition, tradition. He learns 
how to free himself from the traditional tra trapping of life and so loses his desire for property, clothing, sexuality and all sustenance except that required to live. He goes, his goal is to find enlightenment by eliminating his self. He successfully renounce the pleasure of the world. Sunburned and half starved, Siddhartha soon ceases to resemble the body, the boy he used to be. Govinda is quick to praise the Samanas and notes the considerable moral and spiritual improvement they both have achieved since joining Siddhartha. However, is still dissatisfied since joining Siddhartha. Uh, the path of self-denial does not provide a permanent solution for him. He points out that the oldest Samana have been as unsuccessful as Brahman's Siddhartha and the other Samanas begin to hear about a new holy man named Gautama, the Buddha, who has attained the total spiritual enlightenment called Nirvana. Govinda convinced Siddhartha they both should leave the Samanas and seek out Gautama. Siddhartha and Govinda informed the leader of the Samanas of their decision to leave the leader is clearly displeased. But Siddhartha silenced him with almost magical hypnotizing gaze. Siddhartha and Govinda find Gautama camp of followers and her are taken in. Siddhartha is initially pleased with Gautama and he and Govinda are instructed in the way in the Siddhartha still doubts that he has noticed a contradiction in Gautama's teaching, Gautama the Buddha, traditional Buddha's teaching. Siddhartha question how one can embrace the unity of all things as Buddhas ask if they are also being told to overcome the physical world. Siddhartha realizes Buddhism will not give him the answer he needs. Sadly, he leaves Govinda behind and begins a search for the meaning of life, the achievement of which he feels will not depend on religious instruction. Siddhartha decides to embark on a life free from tradition, meditation and the spiritual quest he has been pursuing and to instill learn from the pleasure of the body and the material world. In his new wandering, Siddhartha meets a friendly ferryman, ferryman Fully content with a simple life, Siddhartha crosses the ferryman river and comes to a city here. A beautiful courtesan named Kamala entrances him. He knew she would be the best one to teach him and about the world of love. But Kamala will not have him unless he proves he can fit into the material world. She convinces him to take up the path of the merchant with her help. Siddhartha come soon find employment with a merchant named Kama Swami and begins to learn the trade while Siddhartha learns the wisdom of the business world ends begins to master the skills 
Kama Swami teaches him. Kama, Kamala became his lover and teaches him what she knows about love. Years passes and Siddhartha business acumen increases. Soon he is a rich man and enjoys the benefit of an affluent life. He gambles, he drinks and dances and anything that can be taught in the material world, he embraces it. World, his or his for the taking Siddhartha is detached from his life. However, he can never see it as more than a game. He doesn't care if he wins or loses his game because it doesn't touch his spirit in any lasting way. The more he obtains the material world, the less it satisfies him. And he is soon caught in the cycle of unhappiness that he tries to escape by engaging in even more gambling. Drinking and sex, when he is at his most disillu uh, disillusioned, he dreams that Kamala, rare songbird, is dead in its cage. He understands that the material world is slowly killing him without providing him with the enlightenment for which he has been searching. One night he resolved to leave it all behind and departs without notifying either Kamala or Kwama Swami. Sick at heart, Siddhartha wanders until he finds a river. He considered drawing himself, drowning himself, but instead falls asleep on the falls asleep on the river bank while he's sleeping. Govinda, who is now a Buddhist monk, passes by. Govinda notes that Siddhartha has changed significantly, significantly from his days with the Samanas and new and now appears to be a rich man. Siddhartha responds that he is currently neither a, a, a Samana nor a rich man. Siddhartha wishes to become someone new. Govinda soon leaves it to continue on his journey and Siddhartha sits by the river and consider where his life has taken him. The novel ends with the Govinda retiring to the river to seek enlightenment by meeting with a wise man who lives there when Govinda arrives. He does not recognize that the wise man is Siddhartha himself. Govinda and Siddhartha have been both finally achieved the enlightenment. So ladies and gentlemen, men, my friends, this novel uh, written by Herman Hesse, a German writer, this is a poetic novel and this is, I when I go on through these this pages of this novel, I found it a very beautiful and very wonderful, a brilliant novel. I suggest that you should also read this. And before we leave this world, we must read a good books. Thank you very much.